today on The Reel. The Reel's got the most action-packed show ever with Gladys Knight. And a Dancing with the Stars shout out for Tamar. You can dance a little now. Real Husbands of Hollywood star Erica Ash. And a Dancing Muffin. <laughs> Melissa Rivers, guest host. The Reel. Start the show. Yep. We started with some girl yes. chat. Yes. Which is my <laughs> but before we get chatting today, you may have noticed that our girl Tamar isn't here. No. That's because Team Valente is doing us all Hi. proud. Yes. Dancing it up at Dancing with the Stars, you guys. <laughs> Job and we're so proud of her. She's our very own Miss Twinkle Toes, so go Tay! Yeah. But um, in the meantime, I'm so excited to say that our co host for the day is the fantastic Melissa Rivers. Oh! Come on, join us, We ladies are rocking all of our tennis shoes because today it is Fresh Feet Friday. Woo! I brought mine, I brought mine. Yeah, and see, Ooh, yeah, everybody's got those. Yeah. Why? Where, where yeah. Who makes those? Uh, Saint Laurent. Yeah, oh, Saint Laurent. Of course, of course. And we're not alone, ladies. You know why? 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 Because all of you guys have sneakers on too. You guys have sneakers yeah. on The executive producer and co-host of Fashion Police, Melissa, what I want to know is, can tennis shoes, you know, can they actually look dope with an outfit? Like, yes, and if anyone's been reading any of the magazines, tennis shoes are a big trend. All the mm -hmm. magazines are showing them with dresses and yes. all different things and all sorts of, you go to any stores, it'll look cute. Street style. You know, very street style, mm -hmm. embellishment, plain, I mean, it's great. Now, honestly, I honestly, really do believe you have to be very careful though. Right. Okay. You yeah. can't okay. Because you don't want that, you know, working girl 80s look of like the dress <laughs> and then the, the hose and the socks and the sneakers yeah. walking yeah. to work. Yeah. My mom so, lives in New York and she does it. Yeah, you gotta be careful Carry of that. It. And you know, it helps if you're like a 10 foot tall skinny model in a magazine and you're posing with the perfect little sneaker. Mm -hmm. But I've seen a lot of people doing it and it's cute with little short dresses. Yeah. Right. It's comfy, but make sure they're clean. Yes, and yeah. make sure they're slim. So they're, they're not slim. that chunky, big, like, you know, no. block kind of sneaker on your foot. No, no. And yeah. I, I, I know they're a huge trend. I can't do the wedge sneakers. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. I can't do those. I, At 411, I can't. Tamar loves do those. I, Tamar <laughs> always wears those. I, I'm not. They no. don't work for me. I have very skinny ankles, and it looks like toothpicks in an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like here's the here's the pig in a blanket, and there's little things. I find sticking that okay. it's important to kind of put yourself on Barbie toe. I call it Barbie toe. You know how Barbie always was on toe even yeah. when she didn't have shoes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like so, you gotta kind of know the good Barbie toe when you need to pose for pictures, and then after that, you just get to step in. I yeah. love all this fashion talk. Yeah. So let's talk about the fact that we are huge fans of fashion. Thank police. you. Thank you. So how is that all going? First of all, before you do that, I want to say I love your mother. Thank you. And, and you she know she's you. been a big mentor of mine. Yes. So thank you for coming on. You her. did, my mom, you did, <laughs> you did our show in bed with Joan that we tape at my house. Yes. So yeah. You've been to the house, you've seen the craziness. Everywhere. You were in so bed awesome. with my mom, the whole thing. Um, Fashion Police, I'm 
thrilled to say is going well. Yay! Uh, yeah. We are having fun. That's so good. We are not. Everyone's excited to come to work again. Mm -hmm. Everyone's enjoying it. And um, it's nice. I, I feel like the heart that was my mother, that she brought this warmth and this fun to the show, we're, we found that again yeah. okay. in a different oh, way. And yeah. it's, it's nice to have that warmth. Like, we're all so excited to see she's each other. She's smiling yeah. down. Yeah. She's helping you now out. she's pushing my hair out of my yeah. eyes. She's <laughs> telling me to get sit up straight. I love that. You Aww. are such a strong woman. You know, obviously, how are you and your son, Cooper, you know, handling everything? You know, everyone keeps asking me that. It's only been a year. It was a year, September 4th. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. And um, we're okay. I mean, everyone keeps like, how are you guys doing? I'm like, normal. Mm -hmm. Like, we are going through grief just like anybody else yeah, goes huh? through it. Um, yeah, maybe people are watching it a little bit more closely, but it doesn't make any of the emotions different. But I am really excited the fact that I see Cooper again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see my sort of carefree teenage son there and back. Oh, see, there, there's the he's, Oh, my oh, he's God. So oh. He's so handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. He's, handsome. So, he's, he's taller than you. He will, and that, I'm in heels and he's not. He is actually taller oh, than wow. you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. so handsome. He is. Well, we are very happy that you're here. Thank you. I see your mother in you right now. Oh. So. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so, I'm so excited that you're doing Girl Chat with us. I know. Yeah. 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 Take it off. Yeah. 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 Do you have one of those faces that just looks miserable when you're doing nothing? <laughs> now, I have an excuse because uh, I'm from New York and sometimes we have stank face problems. But you guys, it's also known as resting bee face. Have you guys heard of this? Or known as RBF. Really? Yes, RBF, RBF right? You've yeah. heard of that. Do for you guys sure. know what the B stands for? Yes, okay. Okay, okay. We so that do up. any you have of no you idea ladies. How hard it is for me not to just blurt it out right now. <laughs> Resting B face. Give it to them. Eh. Do any of you ladies have one of those and do you get judged on it? I, ha I have one. You have one? Yeah, if I walked down the streets of New York, I was taught that because I was. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's it. But I'm telling you, like, I was told to look like you were serious and, like, don't mess with me face because I've always been super tiny and I took the train since I was, like, 12 ah, years it. old by myself. So I literally would be like... <laughs> wow. Melissa, do you have it? I don't think so, but I have a teenage son. So all I have to do is, like, look at him and he's like, what? Oh. What? What? Oh, See? Oh, yeah. oh, he oh, knows that's, that's, that's a an side eye. That's an RBF with an S-E. Side eye. <laughs> yeah. That is clearly like, what are you doing? You know, yeah. I can see. For a long time when he was a baby, I was convinced him I actually did have eyes in the back of my head. Oh, my yeah. God. He believed it? Yeah. I because gotta try you, that then. You kind of start to build that, though, as a mom, I feel like. You start to grow eyes on the back of your yeah. head. Because you, you always got to watch what's it. going you, on. You can start to sense, like, their, their energy. I don't think I have one, you guys. Do I have one? Mm. Uh, I have one? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, you do. You, you do. You do. If you if you don't agree with something or you're yeah. listening to hear where what? are you getting at with yeah. this? Yeah. Really? You get very yeah. Yes. I do. Oh, yeah. your children. Yeah. That dagger see that face and run for cover. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so Excuse it's good. me, young yes. man. What did you just say? Yeah. Yeah. Jeannie. I know okay. for sure, for sure, I do not have RBF. Because you're always smiling. I'm always smiling and it actually works against me. I want to learn to channel ah! the RBF. <laughs> Whoa. No. no, I don't. Oh, well, okay. Jeannie. Yeah. Even Jeannie Mai. What were you thinking there? Yeah. That looks like yep. I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. That doesn't look like RBF. But you need to ha I don't think it's good to have it if you can't control it. But, it's but for someone like me who always smiles, I look like I'm ready to buy that used car. I look like I'm going to buy that those Girl Scout cookies. I will say yes to the date. Like, I have such an inviting face. It actually works against me. You kind of just look like you're about to, like, like what should I have for dinner? Hmm. Hmm. That looks like I need to do a number two to oh, me. God. That was me. Bonnie, what's yours? I have resting drunk face. Oh, okay. How does that look? What does it right look like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. That, that is one like too many. Oh my god. Brown yeah. liquors right that's, there. That's the woman. That's the woman at the DMV you're trying to make an excuse to. Yeah. yeah. Out of the line. It ain't happening today. That's yeah. funny. Not today. Oh, you should have so made an appointment, honey. <laughs> yeah. Now, one uh, lady who has been judged on her face is Carly Fiorina, the only woman in the Republican presidential candidate race. Mm -hmm. Fellow candidate Donald Trump has been throwing her some shade, saying previously, 
Looking at that face, would anybody vote for that? Can mm. you imagine that, the face of our next president? Wow. Uh, yeah, because she got money. That's resting Botox face. That's oh, God. That <laughs> she got money. We've had presidents that were very attractive, like JFK, Clinton, Obama. Like, I think it's interesting when you have a good-looking president, but it's definitely not necessary. I, I don't think that you're looking for someone who's good -looking. I think people are mixing up something, two, two very different things and lumping them into the attractiveness category. Right. The president, whether it's a man or a woman, needs to look confident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm like a leader. Yes. What they refer to as presidential, which means someone you know you can count on, who's going to stay calm, who carries themselves with a presence and an authority. Yeah. Regal of some sort. Regal. You know? and, and if they're attractive as well, that helps. We've had a lot of yes. very good presidents who are not attractive, but they all have a stature. You know what I find is an attractive quality that is necessary in a president? Pers being personable. Being like someone that looks like they A man care. of the people. They have, um, um, what's it called? They Charisma. have empathy. Oh. Charisma, Charisma, Charisma is really important as well. Yeah. I just want a president that looks better than all the other presidents. Okay, that's Wait, it, no, all right? Wait, wait, wait. 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 This is the thing that's weird. I Isn't don't... like what you find attractive your personal taste? Because what I may find attractive, somebody else may not. I may think that Clinton is super hot. He was one of my MCMs. Okay, folks, pay attention to this one. Are you single and love pork products? You know I love bacon. <laughs> well, there's now a dating app for people who love bacon. It's called Sizzle. What? It gives new meaning to the term bacon wrap date. Yeah. What? Yeah. Bacon wrap date. Don't what get it, I get it. Exactly. You make a profile and ask you questions about bacon to get you going with the perfect partner. Now, oh here's God. the question. What do you think about apps like this? You know, okay. what does this say about the current stage of dating? That it's getting desperate. <laughs> no, well, well, wait, wait, guys. One of the questions is, what type of bacon do you prefer? How do you like your bacon cooked? I just have to say, is this serious? Yeah, it's yeah. serious. No. I Thank you to my, my Twitter followers, to my fans, because they sent me all, they were like, Lonnie, we know we love bacon. They kept sending me the app. They kept saying, because yeah. they think and I'm lonely. Single, I'm you not love lonely, dating. Okay? okay? But yeah, it's a real thing. It's the, a real thing. The state of dating, it's just, it's, there's pluses and minuses. Right. Okay? And, you know, you see the pluses are you can basically sit at home and have a conversation with someone in your pajamas and your hair in a ponytail and you don't have to get dressed up <laughs> and get rejected on a bar face to face. Exactly. Okay. That's the good thing. The downside is we are losing human connection. Yes. Mm. yes. However, being a fan of bacon, mm -hmm. I like this. <laughs> I, am, I am a fan. The club sandwich. Little I think, bacon. Yeah. I think I mean, it works because you want to be able to swine and die and you want to know who's down no. for that sort of thing. <laughs> How did you guys ever love something, some type of food so much that when someone else loves it that much too, you just instantly yeah, you feel like your spirit animal? My boyfriend and I bonded over fast food. See? See? Okay. They could have an app for that. Like but what type of fast food you wine. like. But yeah. now yes. neither of us can eat it because we're both on diets. Oh, well, you know. But you but can you start out that way. But you encourage each other. As you need to like shut yeah, off. Yeah, and then I get in this car and I can smell it. And it turns it's like another woman. <laughs> I knew <laughs> someone. If you had fast food, I can smell oh, it. Okay. And, I mean, I haven't obviously. I haven't dated in a, in a really long time. And and nowadays, isn't can dating be a little bit serious? At times, so this kind of just makes it light. Yeah. You know what I mean? It makes, yeah. it, makes, it, makes you know, it fun. Exactly. If you don't like no no hog, I, go on somewhere. That's <laughs> who doesn't like bacon? That's the question. Who Somebody. doesn't like? Oh yeah, you're right, vegans. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I have to mention something that is very special to me, and I want to share it all with you. The making of a documentary about my life and the amazing journey I've been on, from my early days in Detroit to where I sit now with everyone here at the Rio. <laughs> Take a look. First of all, I never thought that in my life I would be the person that I am. I started working on the General Motors line at 17 years old. And I realized that either I was gonna be this wife and live in Minnesota, or I was gonna be a stand-up. And I had to pick which one I wanted. This is not supposed to be happening for a girl in Detroit. After watching this, I hope you're inspired to do whatever you wanna do. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it.
hardest part of making the documentary? Of uh, the time. I mean, they followed me all around. Because I'm a stand-up, they went to uh, New York, they went to D.C., wow. they went um, to me with my pre movie premiere. They went wow. everywhere. And it's just taking the time and getting the people. But you realize how many friends you have when you get this, when you got to have interview friends, you know yeah. what I'm talking about, Melissa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're like, you will know? you say something about me? Who's yes. going to get on camera? Yeah, yeah you yes. find out who your friends are. So I, you will see in, the, in the documentary who are my friends. So Aww. that I feel that, you know, want to say kind words about you. Mm -hmm. Kate, your story is so inspiring. What do you want people, what's the message you really want people to take away from it? I want people to realize that if I can do it, they can do it. Mm -hmm. And this is my story of how I did it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, our next guest is music royalty. Everything she touches becomes a classic. I'm talking Love Overboard. I heard it through the grapevine. Yes. Mm. Yes. Midnight Train to Georgia. And she shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Her latest single, Just a Little, is heating up, and you can grab it on iTunes. Get on your feet for a musical icon, the Empress of Soul herself. Shoes, girls. No. Oh. <laughs> Those are ridiculous. We Thank are you. so honored that you are here with us yes. today. It's my pleasure. And you, you're amazing. Thank you. So you, all of you. And you smell, you guys. <laughs> She smells so divine. Like right. smell she smells like oh, puppies and flowers. Right? Thank and, you. Oh Elegant. my goodness. Thank yes. you so much. You're beautiful. So are all of Okay, you. all right. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you just dropped another song. Yes. Just a little. Yes. Would you like it? Yes, what makes this song different from your other song? You know, it's been 20 years since I had an up-tempo song. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> looks at me as a ballad. Dear, you know okay. what I mean? The love song kind of thing. And um, I, I'm, I'm a happy girl, okay? Yeah. And, and this was one that came to me. I was working with S1. He's an amazing, amazing producer. And he's doing all the top people right now. And my protege, Avir, is working with me and with him and, and just put us together. And, and, and I was loving this song. We can dance a little now, you know? Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Now, our girl Tamar yeah. wanted to be here so badly today. I know. She, she took did. my place. Yes, no. she <laughs> said dancing with the stars. I know. So she recorded this message for you, so take a look. Okay. Hey, Auntie Gladys. Hey. It's your girl Tamar. I'm so, so upset that you're here, and I'm not. But as you know, I have Dancing with the Stars. But I just want you to know I love you so much. Thank you for all the wonderful advice you've always given me, and I love you. Mwah. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. See, I, I'm nosy, so we want to know what the wonderful advice was that you gave Tamar. See, yeah. she's, she's on the right show. You got to keep it real, mm -hmm. OK? You got to keep it real. Yeah, you, you need to live your dream, OK? Mm -hmm. and, and choose which way you want to go and which, which way you want to be. And keep in mind that those that are coming after us are watching us, uh -huh. mm -hmm. trying to That's learn things, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. So yes. I do caution us to be that way. Well, we thank you because you've been an incredible yes. example. Well, thank, you. thank you. Now, Ms. Gladys, I had the honor of opening up for you. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> oh, my oh, but let me tell y'all, I made sure to keep the material clean. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Because she, she, she came back. She had a conversation with me. She, you remember the conversation? Yeah, I do. Look, Lonnie, Lonnie, you keep it clean. <laughs> keep it Why clean. is that important to you for your shows? That whoever's opening for you, keep that material clean? Well, 
I, I, like I said before, we're responsible for where we are, where we want to be, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And there's that other generation watching us, and we need to set the example, okay? That's right. And, and so when somebody has my name up on the thing, they're coming to see me, but they may be subjected to something else. That's ah. right. And so when we're doing it together, you know, when I'm in your thing, let me tell you this story. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I played his mother on his show when he was had his television yes, show, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so fun, it really was, you know? And we came, we became really close. Um, I was in Atlanta one time and he was playing Atlanta at, at the City Auditorium, I think, something like that. And I called him up, I said, Jamie, I'm in town, I'm coming to see you, babe. He said, wait a minute, Mom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he said, wait a minute, Mom. Uh, you, I said, why can't I come? <laughs> He said, Mama, I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. My show is too blue for you. Oh, yes. yeah. I love yeah. him for that. Because yeah. he, he knows honest. me that yeah. well. Yeah, that's respect, And that was too. respect for Absolutely. me, yeah. you know? So I loved it. I really, really Maddie. did. So I'm loving you. We had a good time, didn't we? We sure did. We had a great <laughs> sure time, did. and they loved you to death. Oh, yeah. They did. Well, that's talent. You, yeah, you can do it on the show. Gladys, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yes, Relationships are hard work, so we know it. But so is nailing the perfect look for every milestone you two hit. From your first date to your first anniversary, we've got just the answers on how to rock out your relationship fashion timeline. There is nothing like a first impression. Mm. So let's talk first date. Yeah. For your first date, you want to look stylish, but not like you're stylish. Oh, that's good. I like what I like about this outfit is it's comfortable and it's transitional. So you can easily go from dinner, a little jacket, mm -hmm. to dancing. Once you take off the la. jacket, oh. and it transforms into another chic look. And I love that you can get right to this. This vegan leather jacket for less than 30 bucks, TJ Maxx. No wow. way! Yeah. So okay. I love the color. It's fabulous. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. And then confidence, too. Walking out with confidence really tells it, yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's time to meet the parents. Oh, God. Oh. Yes. When you're trying to impress mom and dad, <laughs> it's all about looking respectful. OK, Ooh. so. She's wearing a conservative floral skirt and jacket. Yes. Very you can important. still dress with personality and look like yourself while keeping it together for his parents. When Aiden starts dating, you know, he better bring home girls, you know, oh, that are goodness. nicely dressed. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. I am on the other end of the spectrum with a boy. I don't want any little tarts walking yes. in my no, house. No, 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 no. And this Rebecca Taylor jacket can be snapped up for under $70 at Ross. Woo! Thank you. See? No poom poom shorts. Yes. We talked about that before. No poom poom yes. shorts for meeting the parents. Now let's celebrate your first anniversary. This look is sexy and trendy, but it's still romantic. A dress with a shimmer. It's stylish, and it says, oh, I it. still want to look good for my wow. man. Not a bad way to mark that first year. Plus, you can get this lovely J. Taylor dress for under $100 at JCPenney. Woo! That is crazy. That is a great, for under $100? Yeah, that is really good. That is great. Let's take one more look at our relationship fashion timeline. Yes! this I was listening backstage and when Gladys Knight came out I think one of you said she smells so good yes. and I'm telling my publicist go to the bathroom and put some of the soap on the <laughs> tissue I gotta do something to make my armpits smell really really good when I come out. Well, you smell amazing. Oh, oh my God, really? Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. You're good. We're so like excited. Gladys Knight. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't anything like Gladys Knight. She refuses to age. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. right. Oh, just yeah. refuses. I'm just, just like beautiful. Gotta woman. love that. I know. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you. We're so excited. Thank to you. Be here. But definitely congratulations are in order because you guys, Survivor's Remorse was picked up for a third season. Woo! Thank you. How awesome is that? How do you feel? I 
feel amazing. It's really good to know that you're going to be able to pay your bills again. I love that. It's like for another it's cycle. Because that first comes whether your show gets picked up or not. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's like really, really great when it does. And we, I mean, we enjoy the show. I, I feel like it's really great writing. It's a great show. Our writers are really amazing and they really go there. And for me, I like edgy. So okay. it's nice it to works. be able to know I can do it again. All right. Well, LeBron James is one of the executive producers on the show. How is he involved? He's been in the playoffs for the first two seasons that yeah. we've been doing the show. Yeah, so right. his um, access to the show and his input in the show has yeah. been more remote than anything. Okay. He'll call in. He'll check on it. He always watches the dailies at his house, which oh, I'm wow. really impressed. Wow. I'd be asleep or in a tub <laughs> somewhere getting a massage. Mm -hmm. And um, also, it's so funny. His, he and his wife, Savannah, and their team, they'll get together and they'll do table reads amongst each wow. other and, and oh. decide what they like about the show and what needs to be changed. So he's as involved as he possibly could be, and I'd, awesome. I'd say even more so. Yeah, and that is really amazing. goes above and beyond. Very good. Yeah, oh, it's great. nice. All right, so you've had such an interesting life because you also started out as a cabaret singer in Japan. I Whoa. did. And you performed for two very special people. Tell us about that. <laughs> so there was, a, <laughs> there was this club called Zex, not Sex, Zex, X-E-X. -E okay. And I would perform there um, like once or twice a week. So one of the nights off, my little agent calls, she's a sweet little Japanese lady, and I could, I could, hardly ever understand her sometimes when she got excited. She's like, you have to get dressed. Quentin's coming. Quentin. And I'm like, that's not a Japanese name. She's like, he's president. And I'm like, president of the club. That's awesome. I was like, whatever. I go down there, and I'm singing. And then suddenly, as I'm singing on stage during my set, all these black guys rush in, uh, uh, sorry, guys in black suits rush in with like, sunglasses. <laughs> Black guys and Japan guys. No. So they all rush in and they're like getting on stage with me. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> that's not how we do things at this club. I'm singing here. You must sit there. So they're like standing around me and nobody's listening to me. I'm like, why won't you guys listen? You have to get off the stage while I'm singing. <laughs> so then Clinton walks in and I was like, President Clinton. Oh, Clinton is, is Clinton. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So then I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like singing my heart out. And he actually liked it. And so he came from his little booth. They had like a little inset booth for him. Yeah. And he actually came on stage with me. And I was like, what? it's fine. Wow. Come and cheer. So he's like kneeling on the edge of the couch. And he's just like watching me like this. And he's like, <laughs> do you know Roberta Flack's song? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know, I know a couple. He's like, can you sing Strumming My Pain? <laughs> singing and then he starts singing oh. and I was like you can't sing when I'm singing <laughs> up and listen to me like I'm just like I'm like you gotta you gotta be quiet because he's like singing at the top of his lungs I'm like oh my god like, this he's is not a duet was, he it was not. karaoke yeah <laughs> I was like but it was fun and it was awesome and then like halfway through that Leonardo DiCaprio walks in what? Oh, wow. what the connection was or how that happened I do not know but it's the truth and I brought a picture because it sounds like a really like a tall tale Where but I took a picture with it oh there it is there yeah. That is amazing. I know. I was like super excited. It's time for one of our favorite games where we get to see just how well you know us. There's cold hard cash on the line, so let's do this. This is You Bet Your Host. <laughs> You guys, in case you don't remember, this is how it's gonna go down. We're gonna show you a clip of one of us being asked a question, and it'll be up to you to decide if we know the answer. Now, the kicker is, if you bet correctly, you'll go home $100 richer. <laughs> We've got Tamara and Jeannie hanging out in the audience looking for people who think their betting game is on point. So are you guys ready? <laughs> Tamara, who do you have? Okay, Brianna Witherspoon, where are you? Oh, look at that. Hi, how are you? I like your pink. You. you look very cute. Okay, well, thank you for hanging with us today. Where are you from? I am just moved recently out here to Los Angeles. Okay. Yay. From Sacramento. Yay. From Sacramento. All right. Sacramento. Okay, so tell me, what would you do with an extra $100? Um, well, I would definitely help my mom out. Okay. Uh, my mom has always funded me with everything, trying to make sure I could have my dream, so. Definitely want to get back to my mom. Okay, good answer. All right. All right, let's see who is up first. How many days oh, does it take 
for Earth to orbit around the sun. All right, Brianna, what do you think? Did Jeannie know the answer? Um, I'm gonna say, I don't think so. I love you, Jimmy. Wow. Okay, what's it gonna be? Do you think she answered the question correctly? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. I love you. <laughs> okay, all right, let's find out. Roll the clip, please. The Earth to move around the sun. <laughs> I don't know, two days? Well, you were right, Brianna. Jeannie was wrong. <laughs> Jeannie, 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 you should have known that, though. Seriously. I really should. I okay. know. Well, Brianna... I was juicing then. I wasn't thinking correctly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you get $100. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Jeannie, who's brave enough to bet next? Let's throw someone else under the bus. Who is <laughs> Raul Villa? Where are you at? <laughs> So where are you from? South Carolina Valley. <laughs> All right, you look really cute, by the way. Thank I like your much. kids. Beautiful as you do. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what would you do with an extra hundred dollars? Well, if I wasn't putting in the bank, I'd probably take my beautiful coworkers and boyfriend out for lunch oh, today. Oh, that's Aww. nice. That's nice. That's nice. Aww. Everybody's that's gonna awesome. get burgers at In and Out. <laughs> Just kidding. That's awesome. Okay, well, Lady Luck is on your side, so let's see which one of us is up. In the classic Mary Shelley novel, okay. is Frankenstein the name of the monster or the scientist? <gasps> <laughs> so cute. Okay. We know our Tam Tam loves to read. What do you think our host said? I think she, uh, she, knows, she looks like she knows what time of day it is. I'm gonna say she knows the answer. That's okay. a yes. Thank you very so much. Let's see. Did Tamara know the answer? Roll it. He's alive. He's alive. Frankenstein. <laughs> the scientist. The scientist was Frankenstein. That is correct. That yes. <laughs> you got it right. Congratulations. You. She be you guys all going to lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're so uh. very good. <laughs> It. Who else is feeling like super lucky today? Nicole Vega, let me see you. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, she was right behind me. Okay, Nicole. I'm stuck behind her. Right. Where are you from? Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield, yeah. okay. So let's see which one of our lovely ladies has the question next. Who was the second US president? <sighs> All right, by the look of Adrian's face, how well do you think Adrian paid attention in history? What's it gonna be? Did Adrian know the correct answer? <laughs> wow, that's how y'all feel? I was actually a straight A student, thank you very much. Okay. I would know. You're gonna go, she's gonna go with no, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna go with no. All right, let's see, let's see. Roll the clip, please. The second US president <laughs> was Abraham Lincoln. Oh my God. Adrian Bailon. <laughs> 